It's time for your science buzz. Stories making a buzz in the science world. We're going to start with a story just in time for Mother's Day here. Scientists are developing lab-grown breast milk for babies. It's called BioMilk with a Q. They're making it from cells from donated mother's milk and breast tissue. Now this product will be nutritionally more like human milk than formulas. And we all know formulas are very hard to come by these days with many shortages. The company hopes to make it available to the public in about three years. And this one's an eerie one. You hear that? That is the echoes of black holes chowing down on stars. According to space.com, researchers at MIT used a school nickname, the reverberation machine, to identify eight new echoing black holes binaries or systems with a star orbiting in the black hole of the Milky Way. Then they were able to turn the echoes into sound waves and the echoes could give us hints about the role of black holes in galaxy evolution. Among the eight identified systems, the black holes ranged in mass from five to 15 times the mass of the sun. All right, we're going to finish with this this morning. Friday's early morning SpaceX launch from the Kennedy Space Center went off without a hitch, but it also produced an incredibly cool phenomenon called a space jellyfish, the jellyfish effect. As the Falcon 9 rocket soared through the dark Florida skies, sunlight reflected off a rocket's exhaust plume, creating this stunning glowing halo effect. Historically, the stunning space site has stoked fears of an alien invasion or nuclear missile strike, but it's only neat effect it's only a neat effect of the pre dawn launch. And you know, one of our storm trackers got a couple of these photos of that jellyfish effect. She was down on the space coast and she shared this with us in our, our Facebook group. Amy Cantwell sent in these photos from Florida. Here's one of the wide picture and then zoomed in. I mean, it is great to have this community of weather enthusiasts and many of us are also space enthusiasts to talk about the cool things happening in the atmosphere. So thank you, Amy, for sharing these photos. And if you know you have photos of you like to take photos of the weather or even some weather esque nature sites, you can join our Facebook group and join the conversation there. You just request to join into the question and we'll let you in.